Cat, what are you doing? You're ruining my whole stream. Get back down there. There you go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bedrooms. We need a doa in this bedroom, right? We got a few more. Excellent. How about over here? Got space for a door. Door. Door? Definitely a door here. 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 I think here. What I don't want to do is put the doors over places that still need to be smooth or floor tile installed. Murder bins. He has those. And a site, please. Thank you very much. And have they made any cabinets? Why can't my eyes see this? No, no cabinets yet. How about the trade? Trade. Yeah. <clears throat> Sh shall I sell <laughs> a legendary item? Is that kosher? I want to keep the rope, so really I don't have anything worth selling. Ah, uh, lead bars. I can afford a lead bar from all this. Giant eagle eggs, 20. Eh, okay. Let's buy those two things. Thanks, guys. Well, I mean, half their population did get decimated. Actually, that does make sense. Decimation means to cut down to one-tenth of what it was. So half the population decimated is like something else entirely. Are these considered efficient? Generally, yeah, technical. Uh, oh yes, deci, literally 10. Decimation. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean, I, I'll... I will often, when I feel more secure in the build, will start like uh, engraving their walls to add value and putting in higher level of uh, stuff. But really, the three by three, I, I do three by three because sirens outside. The if you hit the shift button and then go side to side, you go by essentially eleven, right? So an eleven eleven by area, and then if you split it down into thirds, like so. It's all three by three, so I I just sort of use three as a unit, like it's the it's the baseline size of a room is three by three. So that that's part of why I, I default to using it. Plus, uh, a lot of the workshops are three by three anyways, stuff like that. So yeah, eleven by eleven and three by three are important numbers. For Dwarf Fortress, that is. Alright, so... I have probably enough bedrooms now that nobody has to sleep on the floor. I mean, they'll, they'll just switch out, like, you know, unowned bedrooms, but... It's better than the alternative. Container. Marble. Ooh, ooh. Here's one that needs a container. There you go. Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Build Music specializes in music that you can use for free without getting copyright strikes. And there are a bunch of regular contributors. There's Kevin McLeod, who I personally have helped with his website before, as sort of repayment for using his music. Um, Sasha Ande, who does this music, which is called End Titles. Alexander Nakarada. And Raphael Crux, and there are a whole bunch more, but those are the ones I default to. And they, they do music that is really good for the mood of various games that I have done Let's Plays for before. So, you need music, that's one place to look. 
Migrants? <laughs> I still don't have enough bedrooms for the ones I have now. Yeah, see, I... Oh, oh, yeah, we don't have... Okay, now I understand. Sorry, my short-term memory is trash. I, I, I have a theory about that, but... It is definitely trash one way or another. So enough things happened since then that I lost it completely. I have been thinking I would try to make either like random music generator or something where I could categorize the mood of various songs and I could have like a hotkey. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy's still here. Crap, they need things I don't have. Anyways, uh, to finish my thought, uh, where... I could have a hotkey for each mood, and if I knew, oh, there's a battle or something, I could switch it to a context that was um, tense or scary. And then it would only choose from music that mit, uh, fit that category. It would still lag behind the event happening. It couldn't come ahead of the event, because, you know, I'm not, I don't know when a siege is going to come. But, you know. It's one of the 3,010 uh, projects I will never work on, because how can anybody work on that many projects? Yeah, I, I figured I would. I'd have to say, this one feels either tense or scary, and this one feels optimistic or whimsical, and you just have a like 10 categories, and then we'll try to remember what the buttons for them are. And that might be a challenge for Dwarf Fortress, too, because Dwarf Fortress uses all the buttons. All right, it's... Uh. Scientific community. I, I, ooh, that reminds me. I need to write an email to the head of my data science department and ask them some questions about Code for America. Hmm. A folder. I'm sure that exists. That must. Boom, ba boom. Part of it is just, hey, but this feels like a thing I can make myself, so that's part of my interest. Oh wait, this guy is going to go insane unless we do something. So what do they have now? They have nothing. They have nothing now. They want... Bones... Wood... Gems... Bones... Wood... Gems. So that's all they want is bone, wood, and gems. I should have gems lying around, so I don't think... And there's tons of wood. Maybe it's rough gems they want. I know some of the mood types don't get specific enough for you to tell the difference between cut and uncut. So maybe that's what we're talking about. Because I've got wood. I almost certainly have bones. The bones. And it looks like I've had them cut all the gems already. So maybe... That's the problem. All right, all right. Let's let's reverse this direction. Three by three, right? Two by two. Let's make a pathway and intersect with some gems. But are there any visible gems anywhere? There's a gem. Let's uh, let's hit that gem up for some business and see if that's what they want. And actually. Oh yeah, I've got, got migrants too, but first off, the pets. You know what, I've been able to keep my chair... Yeah, yeah, look at all these bones. That's definitely not the problem. Oh, ivory. Well, bone. That's interesting though. Ivory. Make ivory crafts, do that. Oh, got a couple more rooms done. Well, one more. Let's fill in the floor up here. B, C, F. Sight, please. A bit more, please, here. I don't want them to waste tile on a section that's been done already. Oh, wow, the people making blocks have been busy lately. Nice. I was a bit there where I couldn't get hardly any. Oh, there's plenty of gemstones. What does he want that he doesn't have? I've got bones, I've got wood, I've got gem. Oh, but none of those have been cut. So it's the other way around, is it? 
do it now. Do I not have a gem cutter? I do. I have a legendary gem cutter. That's not the problem. Let's look at some migrants real quick. Lowlock. Hello. Who are you and what are you doing here? Lowlock likes palm wood, leaven opal, black bronze, gypsum. Clear glass, holy moose antler, coral, lion bone, cotton fabric, the color fuchsia, spears, gauntlets, catapult parts, and thrips for their prolific breeding. <laughs> when possible, she prefers to consume swan, <laughs> epic, and pineapple wine. Woohoo! Interesting. Uh, let's see. And they were a what? Bowyer? So they like wood. Oh, okay. So fifth... Oh, wood. Welcome aboard. Now, let's see. What did you actually do? Uh, preferences... Labor. Crossbow making and wood... Okay. Crafts. Wood crafting? And how about bone carving? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't see that there were a huge number of them. Inod is good at something. What are you good at? Legendary animal caretaker. Well, then I'd best left, uh, leave you to do so. Uh, preferences, labor, animal care, and mm, stone crafting when you're not otherwise preoccupied. Let's see. I've been well. She likes covalite, gold, pink garnet, plum wood wood, hungry head tooth, the color charcoal, gems, warhammers, amulets, and the sight of the fragrance of glittering. When possible, she prefers to consume salmon and fisher berry wine. Those are perfectly normal. And she's a what? Uh, animal person, right? Huh. That doesn't really fit with any of this stuff. Detests leeches. Light, plum wood, hungry head, charcoal, amulets. They might at some point make amulets. That might work. All right, fifth M. You let. All right. Who else? Dwarven child, right? Fifth child. Fifth child. Do that one quick. Oh, on get. Hmm. You know what? On get could just help around the house, right? And maybe healthcare. Someone who doesn't have a specific job but goes around doing little un underappreciated things that are important. Oh, and they've seen a lot of bodies. Probably because they came in through the the pile of bodies, I suppose. Is married to Fifth Palmwood. Likes hematites. Lay pewter. Black zircon. Demon rat tooth. Color black. High boots. Rings. Alfalfa. For their sprouts. The words of the resolute seeds and the sounds of the velvety smiles. Prefers to consume giant elephant. Ooh. Are we talking... Oh, what are those? The ones from Lord of the Rings, right? The giant ones? Those? How many giant elephant burgers can you get out of them? So I have to ask. All right. First, consume giant elephant, reindeer, cheese, and sunshine. Ooh, sunshine. That's a nice name. Absolutely detests moon snails. Hmm. Long mustache... And they're just a helper. Just a helper. You know what? How about a sunny helper? Uh, fifth sunshine. All right. You'd better have a sunny disposition. Isam Bekoronol, the gem setter. Guess what? You're now a cutter too. And if it's okay, please, 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 please carve some bones and make some glass. He is 96. Did you do the math on that? Like, can you provide me with a white paper? 
disapproving your statement. Hmm? Linear regressions. Oh, well, I'll just take your word for it then. All right. <clears throat> Likes azurite, nickel, silver, aventurine, 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 apricot, wood, wood, impala leather, the color cerulean, maces, hatch covers, dogs for their loyalty, puffins for their colorful beaks. Um, first, consume strawberry wine. You know, strawberry wine sounds like a thing you could do. Considering how fast they go, I wouldn't be surprised if you get a pretty quick turnaround on, on those. It must exist. Somebody must have done this, right? Okay, anyways. I already forgot what they... Oh, gem person. Adventurine. Well, perfect. All right. Fifth Aventurine. That is, in fact, the gemstone. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Atis Rethkadal. Glazer. I don't have a use for those just now. Paper making, book binding, weaving, do those things for me. She is quite quick to heal. She likes marcasite, lead, topaz, the color green yellow. I'm good with that. I saw an EV in that color not so long ago, and I was jealous. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Uh, high boots, flasks, the words of the poetic watchfulness. First, to consume guava wine and single grain wheat flour. Tests bats. Uh, and you were what again, Glazer? Just a. Hmm. 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 I guess we're left with something they like, so. Well, that's always the case, but. Fifth. Fishery worker. We has no fish. Sorry about that. Stoneworking is your new life. And I bet they were good at it because they were blinky. Uh, they'll probably be slightly upset about that skill going rusty too, huh? Mezbooth likes orpiments. Trifle pewter, leaven opal, white-handed gibbon leather. The color peach. Breastplates, plates. Sperm wells for their vengeful nature? Really? Uh, is that just because of a book? Or do they actually have a vengeful nature that I haven't heard about? Um, first to consume white spotted puffer and mango. And you're a stone dude now, so orpiment. Okay, uh, fifth orpimente. Domas farmer. Okay, what farming do you do, sir? Gelding and spinning, I don't care. Uh, cuking, if you wouldn't mind. And brewing, if you wouldn't mind. Likes olivine, forged star, clear garnet, cave spider silk, 80s music, hemp fabric, short fin mako, shark parchment, uh, short swords, shields, weapon racks, crutches, llamas for their long necks, grapevines for their fruit, and the sound of the velvety smiles. Prefers to consume hagfish, rainbow trout, and apricot wine. Cat jam. <laughs> Oh, yes, and uh, I, I understand that I do need about uh, a trillion more emotes one of these days. I'm not really the artist myself, so I kind of have to ask someone else to help. Uh, 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 what did I ask you to be about? You're a farmer. Uh, Rainbow Trout Apricot. That's not a bad name. We'll do that. Um, oh, is that supposed to be a thing? I still don't actually fully understand what BTTV is. So maybe it's my fault? Alright, anyways, uh, I already forgot. Oh, apricot. Fifth. Apricotti. Shore-assed Olinudes. Arming. Soap-making, milling. And processing. Yeah, I mean, okay. Wood-burning, lye-making, dyeing. That's all fine. Ninety-three. Likes borax, steel, a sard, a desert tortoise shell, battle axes, catapult parts, 80s music, leopard men for their spotted coats. Prefers to consume bumblebee mead. You don't do mead, though. You don't make it. Hmm. Sard. 
Borax. Better Twitch TV, so BTT. Okay, do I have to have it, or do you have to have it for it to work? Because if it's if I have to have it, I just need to do a little research to how to get it. Yeah. I mean, as a software developer, I can imagine it would be easier to implement on the customer side. But if I have to do it, it's fine. I'll just need to know that it exists and remember to do it, really. Uh, let's see. Uh, borax, steel, sard, catapult, parts, leopard. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Biff, Bumble, B. Whoop. Dang you, Bobby. B with a B. All right. All right. Sarvesh. Oh, Sarvesh needs a job. Farming. What kind of farming do you do? Beekeeping, dude. That's not helpful here. It's not much. Uh, how about other things? Furnace operating, please. I want more of that in the future. Marcasite, sterling silver, fire agate, giant kiwi leather, armadillo shell, fabric of the linen variety, uh, color dark scarlet, geese for their formation flying, tower caps for their great size. First, to consume louse, mackerel, carrot wine, linseed oil, and maize flour. Well, you know what? If they're metal, then fifth, sterling. And I think that's everybody. So I'm going to save again. Some BTTV emotes are global. The rest, the streamer has to add to their channel. Hello, first time. Brack Diesel Cat Bag Cat Bag. So wait, pull doge works for you? So I don't see it. Oh wait, I see it on the screen. But not in the OBS chat. Interesting. Subscribe. Do it now. Subscribe again. Do it. Catch me on Twitch. Follow me there. Subscribe here. Follow me on Twitter if you want. You know, all the things you're supposed to be doing.